So we now know the 24 nations that will make up Euro 2020, but of those 24 nations, which 16 will make it through to the knockouts? Well, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the nations that I think that will make it through to the second stage from Group F. That's right, folks, back once again with another prediction show today. We're taking a look at the Euro 2020 early door predictions for the old group stages, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button to keep your bang up to date with all things Euro 2020, Bap and Rose related, world football. We got it all here under one Ruski. That's right, folks. So we do know the nations that are there. Finally, they're over the line, and hopefully in the summer we'll have a fantastic football tournament to get ourselves all excited about. Now, of course, I want to stress right here, right now, that these are my early door predictions, and they are like to change uh, once the tournament gets closer and we'll tell you we will revisit these predictions of course because you never know injuries suspensions form all that stuff kind of goes out of the window but anyway before we jump in the deep end I want a big big shout out of course to the patrons who are supporting the channel behind the scenes that's right let's give a, a short sharp round of applause you know who you are ladios uh, I do appreciate the support especially through times just like this uh, as we try to kick on the, the, the channel onto another level and if you are interested in becoming the latest member of the Patreon gang check out the link down below in the old, uh, in the old video right down here also it's enlisted in the old description alongside my twitch twitter facebook all that kind of stuff is all listed in there so make sure to check it out so without further ado so here we go boys and girls here we go for the nations that make up group f and it is the group of death i've saved the best to last or oh, they have saved the best to last that's what i can't really call it it's it is it is hard as hard as piss uh, so these are the nations let's get into it just a waste no more time of course the underdogs uh hungary yep there they are coming at you uh, qualified as playoff path a winners over the likes of was it iceland uh 12th of november they'll sealed the bloody deal it's actually back-to-back -back qualifications for you hungary they actually qualified in 2016 so they're there again uh, previously they took part in 1964 and 1972 so they're on the resurgence are hungry and they could be uh, the upset kings if they if they pick a point off left right and center it could really turn this group and the tournament on its head so they could be the uh the uh the, I don't know, the dark, not dark, well, they probably are the humongous dark horses for this group. Um, but anyway, joining them will be Portugal, of course, winners, holders at the moment. Uh, they actually qualify as Group B winners back on the 17th of November 2019. Uh, they actually qualify, this is their eighth tournament uh, for Portugal, of course. They won it last time around, and it's been, uh, they've actually won two, three, four, five, six, seven tournaments in a row without missing a beat. So the Portuguese will be one of the favourites, I'm sure. Uh, but they've got to get out of this group first. And alongside them will be World Cup winners. That's right. France, of course, qualified as Group H winners back in 2019, uh, 14th of November. And they've been here. They've been. That's, they've actually got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tournaments in a row uh, for them. Previously won it in 2000, uh, the year 2000. And, of course, 1984. Platini's boys. Is that name Mud? Do we talk about Platini these days? I don't even know. Uh, but anyway, they're joined by, of course, uh, Germany. Yeah, my boys. My boys are, are these boys in, in Scotland. Those are the ones I'll be rooting for. Scotland really have no hope. But uh, Germany do have a hope. Of course, this is their, uh, I don't know, up -teenth, 13th, 13th tournament. And I think it could be a 13th tournament in a row. Goodness gracious me. 72, 76, 80, 84, 88, 92, 96, 2000, 2004, 2008, 2012, 2016. Yes, it is. 13th tournament in a row. Last time they won it, oh, in 1996. Do you think they're due another win? I think they could be. But again, they've got to get out of this bloody old group. They actually qualified as Group C winners back in the 16th of November over the likes of the Dutchies. That's right. A difficult group to get themselves here. They've been, they've been. Uh, I think it could be the, the door, the, 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 if, what's his name? The coach. Jakob Löw, if he wins this, that buys them another two years. If he loses it, it could be a new era for Germany, maybe the Nagelsmann era. Uh, but anyway, that's the groups. Let's have a look. In fact, let's jump in and take a look at the odds, of course. Hungary, uh, massive underdogs, 500 to 1, no chance whatsoever. But um, let's have a look at these guys then. Portugal coming at you at uh, 14 to 1. Germany, 7 to 1. Uh, France are actually favourites uh, alongside England and Belgium at 5 to 1. I don't know why England are favourites. Um, but anyway, that's the nations, of course. What about the matches? Well, here we bloody well go group f coming at you wow wow we wow uh, this one's got uh, this one's got a uh, football drool all over it it's a lot of big games coming at you kick it all off though with the, with probably the sort of uh you know one of the easier matches i, I suspect it is portugal up against uh, hungary and again um 
At the moment, we do have various nations and cities hosting the Euros, but that could change. The rumour is that it's likely to change, that we may end up with one nation hosting it, and the rumour has it that it could be Russia. So uh, the home advantage will play a key part in my predictions and all that kind of stuff. And in this group, the home advantage goes to Germany, uh, as Munich is one of the host cities, of course, Budapest, the other, uh, the Pushkas Arena. Um, so so that they could lose that home advantage if those if the nation was uh, to be, uh, the venues were to be scrapped. Also, want to stress, the top two nations go through to the knockout stages the third uh, place team will go into sort of like a mini table and uh, the the i think the uh what have we got six groups here uh so, so the four best third place nations will go through uh to the knockout stages so and we'll find out who those nations are tomorrow when we do my knockout Come back for that bad boy. That's going to be a belter. But anyway, we're kicking it off. Hungary against Portugal, of course. Kicking it off on the 15th of June. Now, this match will take place over at the Pushkas Arena over in Budapest. And it should be a nailed-on win uh, for Portugal, I would think. But it's not much of a nailed-on win. 2-1 win for me for Portugal to get themselves over the line. Uh, get themselves through to possibly already. Uh, get oh, at least one foot into the next round. Uh, next up is the World Champions up against the former European winners, of course, a long, long time ago. Uh, in fact, the past two, two World Cup winners, knocking horns here on the 15th of June. I've gone with a 2-2 draw. It's over at the Allianz. Arena over in Germany. This is what we want to see, though. We want to see a gold fest, uh, maybe a, a, a seesaw match going either way, and maybe a last minute dot com equalizer to kind of uh, set the set the benchmark for what could be a very very good group. And next up, we have on the nineteenth of June over in uh, Budapest. In fact, Hungary are the other flipping host nation. I just realised that. Uh, yeah, so shame on me. Shame on me realising that this bad boy is uh, in Hungary. So it's so a two host nation. So Hungary should have a little bit of a, an extra bit of, of a, bo a boost here. Uh, anyway, so these two nations, of course, locking horns on the uh, 19th of June. Early kickoffs, Hungary against France. It should be a nailed on win for France. I've gone big on this one with a 3 0 win. And again, gives them an unbeaten uh, campaign. Four points on the board. Looks good for qualification, regardless if you're first, second, or third. Four points will probably get you over the line. Uh, meanwhile, Portugal against Germany. Locking horns here. Of course, Portugal are your winners, your champions. I think they're going to draw. Oh, this one. Look at this. Look at this. Even Stevens for Germany. Oh, it's, it's looking terrible. Uh, Portugal get themselves four points so far. Uh, France got four points. Germany got two points. Hungary got zero. Again, next up, of course, is a repeat of the Euro uh, 2016 final here on the 23rd of June. Uh, nine o'clock kickoff over at the Budapest Arena and it will be Portugal against France. France, of course, World Cup winners. Portugal, current European champions. It's It couldn't be, it couldn't be better, but it's a nil-nil bloody draw. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Cannot separate the two sides. Draws, win all over the place. The big boys cannot be separated. Uh, and finally, Germany gets hungry over at the Allianz Arena over in Germany on the 23rd of June. Same time kickoff. I've gone with a 2-0 bloody will. Well, what has that done? What has that done for the knockouts? I have bloody don't know. It does show that France, Portugal and Germany, according to my quick math, if I get my calculator out, it's around about uh, four points apiece. Hungary are going to go home though. They're out. We already know that. Three defeats out of three. Negative six goal difference. No points. Who's in third? Who's going to be playing the waiting game? It will be Portugal with five points on the board now if you have watched the previous five quarter you'll know five is good enough already to go through because I think fourth and third are the ones that we're gonna to have to really think about so it looks like Portugal safe uh, Germany go through as second place team so that will determine who they'll t take on of course in the knockout stages and top of the pops top of the pops it will be France of course with a uh, plus three goal difference look at that all three nations on five points one win two draws as the big boys cannot really be separated but hopefully in my eyes I would like to see this happen uh, I don't want to see the big boys going home I want to see their best going into the knockout stages and we hopefully can get some more classic uh, European uh, international football action with the likes of with these guys Italy the Dutchies England all the all the power nations Spain let's get them all in there uh, and hopefully uh, set up a cracking belated Euro 2020 tournament again tomorrow we'll take a little look at of course the knockout so make sure you come by for that and again if I'm just blocking your view here it is take a quick sn snapshot that's what I think will happen and again be sure to get your own picks nice and early down below uh, so that uh, you can show me who you think will go through out of group F. That's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. But if you are new, bang the old subscribe button. Keep your bang out today. With all things Black and Rose related, Euro 2020 related, world football related, boys and girls. we got it all here under one Ruski. And again, if you want to keep up to date with all the, the goings on in regards to Euro 2020, make sure to check out the description down below. Links to my other social media platforms are on there. Twitter, Twitch, Facebook. And of course, if you want to support the channel in another way, you could become the latest member of the VIP gang, the Broverhood. That is the Patreons, boys and girls. So make sure to check that link out down below uh, and see if that's up your alley and again I want to stress that we'll be revisiting these picks uh, as the tournament edges closer uh, we'll do match day by match day predictions as it come around I don't know how in, in depth I'm going to go with those we 
might even do individual match previews. I don't know, depending on my time and what's available, all that sort of stuff. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Uh, and also, we'll be looking at DigiCash. You'll be coming out to do our own predictions. Uh, we're going to be doing squad pr uh, squad predicts as well. Revisit those. We did some of them last time around when we thought the tournament was edging closer. But we'll revisit them, of course. Uh, uh, names and faces do change. So we have extensive coverage of the Euro 2020 this summer and, of course, as we edge closer. But please, be sure to give the video some love, and I'll see you all next time for some more. <laughs>